Hello, and welcome to the first ST Edge AI Summit. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. We appreciate your valuable time. You are all more than aware of the excitement around AI today. The big AI is powered by large data centers on large data sets using massive computing power and scale out architecture. But there is a very different kind of AI that also has a potential to impact the world significantly. This is AI directly at the edge on a myriad of tiny devices running innumerable application. This is Edge AI and it's powered by a very different set of chips and software stack to what is used in the data centers today. This AI will be a game changing play for many industrial products and services. We are literally on the brink of this new era that will bring about a massive wave of smart devices representing a huge opportunity. In the coming years, we see billions of microcontrollers and smart sensors shipping with AI functionality. Hardware accelerated or not? Over the next two hours or so, we're going to take you on an AI journey. You will hear from industry experts and innovators, and we have also some exciting news for you about what's coming from ST. But first, why did we create this event? ST has been working with customers and partners on AGI for about 10 years now. We have seen the initial adoption of the technology and the benefits that it brings in various applications. But we have also seen that there are many cases where product designers have heard of AGI, but do not know yet how it could be applied in their products or services. So we felt that there was a need or rather an opportunity to make what's happening today in AGI better known, as well as the enormous potential it enables. Therefore, we created this event to bring to a wider audience of customers, partners, doers, and creators the learning from key innovators who are already using AGI to create a new generation of great product and services, as well as to show you some of ST's next step in the field. So what you will hear today and why did we set this roster of speakers? Well, we've invited people who were highly instrumental in bringing AI to the point where we are today. People that were visionaries and companies that have driven the deployment of AI at scale in the cloud. We will start with a broader view of the AI world when we hear from an eminent expert, innovator and entrepreneur in the field, Christopher Ray, the Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science at Stanford University. After Chris, I will take you through ST's vision for the cloud-connected intelligent edge and some example of what has already been done with today's products and tool. Then I will focus on how we are addressing the challenging of developers in this area and what's coming soon from ST. Following that, you will hear from Deepu Tala, Vice President and General Manager of Embedded and Edge Computing at NVIDIA about what they are doing to build the next generation of Edge AI computing platform. And the last part will give you the opportunity to hear directly from the innovators who are using Edge AI today. We have used cases across a broad range of industries in automotive, industrial, and personal electronics. So let's go. The rest of this event will be focused on the narrower topics of AGI, which we see as being essential to building the future of the connected world, a world of smart everything, where tens of billions of things are more secured, more connected, and more intelligent. We call this a cloud-connected intelligent edge, and we believe that these smart devices and equipment will become much more autonomous over time. And at the same time, all these things will be clarified, increasingly not only creating, but processing data locally. The list of devices covers nearly all electronics we can find in the home, in factories and workplaces, in cities and buildings, and the mobility solutions we use to get around. When you look at the variety of devices and think about associated business models, you can see the huge opportunity for Edge AI that this represents. 
And this goes beyond changing the functionality of devices. This enables customers to transform their business models with new services, helping optimize both CapEx and OPEX. Contrast the following situation. Today, a cooling system in a data center breaks down due to an evolving mechanical fault. This causes part of the data center to shut down, a big deal. A technician from the HVAC supplier fixes the issue by traveling to the site to replace the defective equipment. Tomorrow, the self-aware cooling system detects that evolving fault early and the HVAC supplier intervenes before the breakdown actually occurs. The HVAC supplier also carries maintenance on a number of other pieces of equipment in the data centers that are predicted to also have issues in the coming time frame. This is a high value services since it essentially extends equipment lifetime and minimizes downtime and it makes more optimized use of the supplier resources. So how do we make this vision a reality? We need to ensure that these autonomous things have three essential elements the right level of security, the right connectivity solution, and the right level of processing power and intelligence to deliver the performance and experience needed for a great product, as well as the right data securely delivered in the cloud to enable the associated services. You will notice that for each of these points, I said, right. That is because what is needed in a given use case will be different depending on the application. This means that we, and I mean the industry at large, need to provide a range of solutions to developers that meet their needs. In this, it means securing data and communication with ever-increasing level of certified security. It means different ranges and data rates and often multiple connectivity methods in the same application. And it means a range of processing power options deliver with the efficiency and flexibility required by the application and supported by the tools that enable developers to build great product faster. Today, we'll be focusing on the processing part and in particular on how Edge AI can contribute to this. As I mentioned, Edge AI is bringing a transformation of both the product and the associated services. Many devices are undergoing evolution in their own right, adding functionality, becoming more energy efficient, making the user life easier and safer. But AGI can bring a next level of product's excellency. Products that incorporate AGI will have a significant advantage over those that do not, as they will be able to offer better performance, improved security, and faster responses time due to their evolving autonomous nature. If we think about what's possible with the home security camera a few years ago and what is coming to market now, there is a world of difference in utilization. And the business model changes are perhaps even more dramatic. With the ability to capture and process data locally in real time and at a fraction of the cost of cloud-based solution, AGI combined with secured connectivity is becoming a key enabler for industrial digitalization. It will offer the companies making equipment and others the opportunity to build new services, offerings on top of the enhanced capability of the actual products. They can offer services that add value for the end users by ensuring that the equipment runs optimally, whether it is a machine in a factory, a building HVAC system, or a car. Now let's look at some examples that illustrate this competitive advantage that AGI is already bringing today. The first example is interesting because AGI is being used to something that is not at all obvious at the first glance. The application is measuring the tire pressure in an e-bike without any sensor in the tire or even any measurement directly on the wheel. It is done by monitoring the current consumption of the motor to assess if the tires need additional pressure. 
This algorithm has been developed by a major e-bike maker and optimized with the STM32Cube.ai software to run on an STM32G0. What is very remarkable here is that it was developed without adding any new hardware in the e-bike engine or in the tires themselves. It's a great example of how AI can be brought to existing designs. Next, we can see an example using smart sensor technology to provide very low power monitoring for a PC. The Hewlett Packard engineering team worked closely with ST to develop and train AI models that recognize different user activities based on device and user motion. Multiple use cases were addressed, including scenarios where the laptop is placed on a table, on the user's lap, or carried inside a bag and taken out. HP conducted activities to analyze and collect these unique motion patterns, which then were fed into a machine learning tool. This helped create an AI model specific to HP devices that was then put on a smart six-axis motion sensor. The always-on motion sensors is constantly collecting and processing data and machine learning algorithms, and it relies on a tiny but powerful hardware block, namely a machine learning core, or MLC. Of course, all this could be done on a more powerful platform like an MCU, but the really interesting part here is the power consumption. This sensor is running an Edge AI algorithm at 34 microamps. Yes, microamps. This allows HP computers to detect changes and respond accordingly. And more importantly, conserve the battery power for more critical tasks. Now, let's move to an example from the automotive world. Here, we are working with the HPE group to optimize the operation and maintenance of motors in electric vehicles. The last challenge here was to monitor the internal temperature of the rotor of an electric motor in actual use so that power output could be optimized for more efficient and safer operation. This is something that could be done in a lab with the rotor exposed but it's not possible in an actual running motor in a vehicle. The solution was to train a model and build a virtual temperature sensor with AGI to estimate the internal rotor temperature from the external temperature measurements. The algorithm runs on the microcontroller that controls the motor, a next-generation Stellar automotive MCU. The same MCU also runs an AI algorithm that detects potential anomalies through the analysis of vibration. This is a great example of AGI adding functionality that significantly improves performance without additional hardware cost. The same approach can be used with other critical components like EV batteries, where the internal temperature of the battery is not practical to measure, but an AGI model can simulate it from an external measurement. And my final example is for a device that has been around for a long, long time and has already undergone many evolution, the washing machine. Many improvements in performance have been made through the addition of electronics over time. But with AGI, as with the previous example, we can make another leap in product performance without additional components. So how does it work? The first machine learning algorithm is creating a virtual sensor approach, estimating the weight of the clothes to be washed based on the motor current measurement. Another machine learning algorithm is collecting data from a six-axis motion sensor to enable drum collision avoidance by calculating if the drum will touch the outer shell of the washing machine. Based on the algorithm input, a program drives the motor using exactly the current needed and adjusts the water and detergent used to save between 15 to 40% energy and water for a washing cycle. Both algorithms have been developed with NanoEdge AI and are running on an STM32G0 MCU together with an ST6-axis motion sensor.
The G0 is a very cost-effective MCU for industrial motor control. And with the optimized library created by the ST tool, it is able to run the drum collision algorithm in real time while controlling the motor. A major home appliance maker is currently adopting this solution and we should see the product on the marketplace next year. So we can clearly see that Edge AI is already being deployed in many different use cases. But to accelerate deployment, we need to ensure that we are addressing the pain points and challenges facing the developer community out there. These challenges are multiple, but we can divide them into two parts. On the left hand side of this graph, we see the hardware challenge. It's about finding the right solution to deliver the performance, the security, and the power efficiency needed by the given application. As I mentioned earlier, what is right will vary greatly between those different applications. So hardware suppliers need to provide a range of solutions. On the right hand side of the graph, we see the software ecosystem challenge. This is about making things easy to program, ensuring that developers have access to the right tools, the right frameworks to create products that can take advantage of edge AI. At ST, we've been working to address these challenges for over 10 years. Our first major step for developer was enabling the porting and optimization of AI models onto our existing range of STM32 MCUs with our STM32 Cube AI tool. This meant that developer could retrofit existing designs with edge functionality or easily introduce AI into new designs. Later, we added the same capability for our automotive MCUs. Two years ago, we introduced our Nano Edge AI Studio, an automated machine learning tool for smarter products. It offers simpler functionality, it's easy to deploy, and does not require extensive data science skills or access to large, well-documented datasets. It provides an intuitive, step-by-step development environment, and in addition of that, it enables a key functionality on device learning, which is critical for applications that need to adapt to different operating environment, as is the case with aftermarket predictive maintenance solution, as instance. We have also bought those same edge AI capabilities to our Linux platform and to our smart sensors. In parallel to the software tool development, we've been working on hardware acceleration that is coming now into our product portfolio. More on that in a moment. During all this, we've been engaging with customers, learning and improving our technology and product offering to make the deployment of Edge AI easier for them. The exciting thing is that for the last 10 years, we've been preparing for the inflection point in the takeoff of Edge AI devices, and it's happening now. The results of ST 10-year investment is already visible today. Customers are deploying Edge AI solutions, many of them on hardware, that is not yet accelerated. And when they do, it is massively on ST technology. We are happy to report that 73% of the projects submitted to the ML Commons MLPerf Tiny benchmark are running on our STM32. I think this is a result of several factors. First, the fact that we are the leading choice for general purpose MCU and that our hardware architecture has been a natural good fit for ML algorithms. Second, our multi-year focus on AI has led us to deliver a very robust AI compiler software stack. And finally, the fact that the STM32 AI developer cloud allows developers to easily test their model online on a wide variety of STM32 boards has made a huge difference. We believe all of this has encouraged widespread AI innovation on the STM32. So we saw the washing machine example a few minutes ago. If we look under the hood, we can see we are talking about a library that performs remarkable AI tasks on a very small footprint. 
This is made possible by the Nano Edge AI software exploiting the right hardware architecture on the STM32. Our goal for years has been to optimize our system on chip architecture so that the AI algorithm have seamless access to memory resources. Any cycle spent transferring data is using power and draining the battery. For AI workload, this means having an hardware architecture that balances memory access without starving the neural processing unit. To enable this, we optimize the design of the bus system and the access to internal and external memory. As we progressively add NPU capabilities to our product line, we design these NPUs so that we minimize the need for memory transfer and maximize the use of internal memory. We do this without privatizing large memory buffers, keeping it usable by the rest of the system. As a next step, we see that MC will benefit from digital in-memory computing to bring several levels of performance improvement versus what we know today. And of course, uh, we have a strong focus on our customers' assets with a security layer that separates the different environments. But what I just covered is just not theory. It is reality with products in the hands of our customers today. Today, we are pushing the boundaries of what can be achieved with sensors, MCUs, and MPUs with the introduction of products featuring neural acceleration. The first product here is a smart sensor that contains a highly specialized DSP that we call an intelligent sensor processing unit. This ISPU is an ultra-low power, efficient, high-performance programmable core that can execute signal processing and AI algorithm on the sensor. Products containing the ISPU are already in the market today. Next, we have two STM32 products that integrate powerful neural acceleration cores. These bring processing capabilities and algorithms that not so long ago were reserved for CPUs into low-power, cost-effective packages for MCUs and MPUs. These two products are already in the hands of selected clients. For the STM32 N6, we are working with customers from every region, large global technology companies and smaller, more specialized players. They have access to boards, early delivery silicon and tools to evaluate the products and go into early product development for launch next year. We also announced a first neural microprocessor series with acceleration, so-called the STM32MP2. It's also sampling to customers now. We are working on bringing AI acceleration to a large number of our products with different levels of performance to meet the needs of all kinds of neural network projects. We are making of AI a first-class citizen. But let me show you an example of this capability in action in a real-life application. What you are seeing here is a camera monitoring activity at a crossroad in the framework of a smart city project. A known neural network is running on the camera and it's performing real-time object detection, I believe on a resolution of 400 by 400. The network can instantly classify, track, and count pedestrians on multiple types of vehicles, cars, trucks, buses, motorcycles. You can see that color boxes are different for each type of vehicle type detected. Of course, this is not a new application, and that's not the interesting part here. What should get you excited is that this object recognition and classification algorithm is running on an MCU live at 18 frames per second on an STM32N6 microcontrollers that cost 10 times less and consumes 10 times less than the processing platform that were previously required to achieve the same result. This is one order of magnitude improvement, and it's a big deal. And the AI algorithm is running 100% on the NPU of the STM32N6. So you can imagine how this technology will disrupt the way such solution can be built and deployed on a much larger scale that was feasible 
up to now. For this very demo, we partnered with Lacroix to achieve these great results. Later today, you will have a chance to hear directly from them as they share their vision of the future of smart cities. Obviously, great hardware is only going to achieve its potential if coupled with the right software capabilities. Rather than individual parts, we need to think of an edge AI system. This encompasses both the hardware and the software needed to get to the right level of performance, cost, and power budget for the application. This drives a need for optimization of scarce resources in embedded systems like RAM, flash, and battery capacity. ST invests heavily in optimization software to compress neural network models, improve their performance, and make sure that our clients get the best from the models that they have developed. We believe that in the same way that explosive growth of AI has created the need for an end-to-end -end AI ML ops, the same is happening for the creation of edge AI applications that will require edge AI ML ops. This concept of edge AI ML ops is actually very important because building an edge AI solution can be pretty challenging. It encompasses a wide range of tasks which very often required multiple different tools. The tools do not always interface well with one another and do not always cover all the tasks that needs to be done. We have been evolving an offering to address the need of the different people involved in the creation of Edge AI solution while ensuring a smooth process and collaboration across those different people. Our goal is to radically simplify the experience of creating, evolving, deploying, and maintaining Edge AI solution. With this in mind, I'm very pleased to introduce today the ST Edge AI Suite. The suite is a collection of software tools that will bring solutions to engineers at every stage of their Edge AI development. From ideation to deployment, developers will find the right tools and resources in the ST Edge AI suite to achieve their goal easily and with optimized results. This is valid whether the developer wants to adopt a bring your own data or bring your own model approach. To make things as easy as possible, we are keeping things simple. A single entry point, whatever ST devices you're working on, guided navigation through a wide choice of tools, the possibility to use a suite for any ST devices supporting Edge AI, STM32 MCUs, STM32 MPUs, ST Smart MEM sensors, or Stellar Automotive MCUs, and a comprehensive collection of educational resources alongside an active community to help develop skills and implement technology more effectively. All of this is completely free of charge for design as well as for end device production. Let's now take a look at a short video to introduce the ST Edge AI Suite. That's just great. I'm convinced that the suite will make it easier for developers to create better products and explore new business models. 
Here is another view of the tool that will be available in the upcoming release. The suite will include all the tools that we have developed over the past decade, which have constantly been improved and which now cater to all ST Edge AI devices. Additionally, we have added new tools to cover the entire development process. We are ensuring seamless integration with the broader Edge AI ecosystem by supporting the latest standards and collaborating with major players in the industry. This means developing new use cases, but also integrating partner solutions to manage model training, optimization, and deployment. A key piece of technology that we are introducing, and which is exclusive to ST, will also be included in the suite. We call that the Edge AI Core. This software is a fundamental technology building block for the suite. It is designed to optimize and deploy neural networks on any ST device, guaranteeing the best interaction and performance between software and hardware. It's a proven technology block that we are benchmarking in every MLPerf tiny inference benchmark today, and it will be available on every ST Edge AI enabled device. One last thing. As a reminder, all the tools in the ST Edge AI suite are completely free of charge for both development and production. That's part of our commitment to accelerate the adoption of Edge AI technology. And as a further step in this commitment, we have decided to make the deployment of NanoEdge AI libraries completely free now. Whether you are an experienced developer or just starting up, you can access powerful Edge AI tools like NanoEdge AI Studio and start creating smarter, more efficient devices and services today. In fact, we believe that NanoEdge AI Studio is so powerful that we decided to open it up as widely as possible. Therefore, customers would like to either run their solution on a dual platform or even only on another ARM Cortex-M device will be able to do so under a special license agreement. This illustrates our total commitment to the developer community to help them make Edge AI a key feature of their next generation of products. Guys, I cannot wait to see what you are going to come up with. So to conclude this part here and a few takeaways, I believe that we are at a very exciting time in our industry because we can now completely redefine product greatness and business models by embedding intelligence in almost every product. And we can do this at a fraction of the cost and energy requirements that similar functionality would require with cloud-based solutions. Understandingly, this opportunity comes with question about how to make it happen, anxiety about getting it right, and the threat that competitors will do it better and sooner. This is why ST is investing massively to help accelerate the adoption of Edge AI solution while removing as much as possible the friction along the way. We saw it earlier with examples like new accelerated hardware as well as new and improved free software tools and services. On top of this, we are also investing in resources to engage and support customers in their journey to imaging, prototype, and build their solution. Of course, we recognize that we are part of a bigger ecosystem that developers are using. We build our tools to interface with a broader ecosystem and participate in activity like the benchmarking I mentioned earlier.